Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So, got some fun new stuff today. Uh, I'm pretty damn excited about I got a shout out to a uh, new company. Well, I don't know if they're new. They've been making uh, kind of a... Uh, non-knife stuff for a while. Sorry, I had to turn that down. Uh, it's Composite Craft Ink. And uh, you guys saw the C-Tech I used on the Browse Blade. Um, they're responsible for that craziness. Right there, you can see that's the stuff I kind of use right there. And uh, you know, I saw that they they had sent Jason Browse a bunch of stuff. So, uh, you know, I gave him a ring, you know, basically explained what I'm all about and said, you know, I'd like to yeah, you know, I'd like to check out your your stuff because for me, I mean, you know, it's great all in the pictures and stuff, but I mean, to be able to actually see the stuff and know what I want, you know, for for future orders is definitely awesome. So, I called him up and talked to the owner. I believe his name's Tim. I should have checked this before I started this video, but really, really nice dude. Just incredibly nice. Has a great sense of humor, and uh, I'm just I'm happy to have another another person to pester every other every uh, couple days for material. So, uh, and I did, just want to thank him for hooking me up. Um, I'm going to show you some of the material real quick, and then some pimp jobs. Now, for one, I didn't get as much as Jason Browse did, but. I guess he's more famous than me, so he gets more stuff. I'm just joking. But anyway, Lightning Strike Carbon Fiber, unidirectional. No idea what that means. Oh, yes, I do. That's kind of crazy, actually. Um, as far as I know, the unidirectional is kind of like peak carbon fiber, because uh, I have one that I used uh, that I'm going to show you guys. So that's, uh, yeah, you see the Lightning Strike on the top there. And uh, on the sides, though, if you can pick this up on the camera here. You see the lines going straight across. That means it's layered. So, interested to see what that's going to be like. Uh, I got some C Tech Cell X. Uh, this is basically like a reddish, ruby red color. You can see that. It's pretty cool. Oh my God, the cat, the freaking flashlight actually works it's crazy so you see this is a uh, really cool guys I have all sorts of ideas for this stuff um, I don't have as much material as I thought so I actually did order a bunch of sheets from them too so got that coming as well uh, another one here uh, don't know what this one is it's I think it's a cell stuff I think that's what it's called but this one's just kind of like a smoky like a, oh, it actually looks green on camera, but it's kind of like a smoky, like black color. But the uh, the weave or the aluminum uh, cells are like a lot closer together. I think they said the stronger it gets stronger as the you know the tighter the uh, aluminum weave is. Uh, it's pretty neat though. I know what you guys are thinking, and I'll get to it in a minute. This one. Uh, not sure what this is, it's a unidirectional. I guess they just showed me this as a sample, which is cool, because it's getting to see it in person. You know, I might be able to do a bolster with this, maybe on one knife or something. But it's really smooth stuff, but that also reminds me of uh, peak carbon fiber as well. Um, of course this, which I used. Uh, silver twill, unidirectional, so also it's got the lines. So I think it's like a black and black and silver type of thing going on here. Damn it, camera. Yeah, you can see the lines. So, Then some carbon fiber. Just regular carbon fiber, I believe. And the thing I'm most excited about, guys... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Almost forgot this one. Uh, Silver C-Tech Matrix. First thing I did when I, when I got this stuff is I walked into a dark room you know, because I had to, had to, had to try this. I'm going to try this right now. You guys know what's coming. Let me turn the lights off real quick. Just got to see what this looks like. Pretty excited. Let's see it. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. And in the light, it's going to be like... I don't know. It looks a lot crazier. Uh... Hmm. 
Yeah, that's like some crazy shit. Uh, Muddy Desires thinking about his Halloween knife already. Let's see what this one does. Let's see what the uh, red looks like with the moon glow in the background. Actually shields it out pretty well. That's surprising. Yeah, you can't really see it glowing at all. Hmm. And the black one, that's that's kind of cool. Anyway, turn that back on. So, yep, the material that I was most excited about and am most excited about is this Fly's Eye Carbon Fiber. Um, how can I explain this to you? Uh, basically the bubble wrap pattern, but perfect and smooth, like shiny little mirrors of carbon fiber. It feels so cool actually, guys. I mean, it feels, I mean, and I'm like looking at this, I'm like, I am not putting this on anybody's knife except for mine, but I actually may put it on someone else's, but as you see there, as far as I know, they have this in multiple uh, sizes. So you can see the, uh, it feels really nice. It's not grippy, but it just, it's like a hand massage, sort of. But you can see the carbon fiber weave underneath there. It's kind of like a little magnifying glass. The other side, just regular carbon fiber. So anyway, enough of this, guys. This stuff, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be testing it out on a lot of chosen 7x7 stuff and uh, some other random stuff. So, but I've already picked. I've already know that I like the unidirectional a lot, guys, and I'll show you why in a minute. So this didn't take me all that long, so I'll show it first. Um, this one's not doesn't have pot clip on it yet, but this is for my buddy Will. Uh, I've referenced Will in the past. He's a really good dude. He fixed my back for me. I mean, haven't had a back pain since he uh, gave me the advice he gave me, which is just, just continues to blow my mind. So we got a first on my channel here, Spider Code Dragonfly. I actually own two of these. And uh, this one is rocking the unidirectional carbon fiber. As you can see, it's it's just really really crazy. It's like the peak, but a little bit more nutty. Uh, I just described it to someone on the phone as like a circus in black and white, pretty much. But it looks really cool. I mean, it's like... It's just awesome. I mean, people were always like, you know, I always wish I had like a black and gray uh, stripe, but this is like a step further. And uh, this wasn't too hard to work with, whereas the peak Peak's pretty damn difficult. This looks like almost the same, but uh, it may be it may be exactly the same. Just the pattern uh, is crazy. Uh, everybody everybody asked for the Starburst pattern with Peak so far. I've never done it in anything else, so I figured I'd go with the uh, Anzo on this because I know that would just pop on this like real crazy. Polish up the back spacer, nice and solid. And uh, yeah, their prices aren't too bad actually. I was pretty surprised. Uh, they have better prices than Knife Kits does with the C-Tech, so I mean, that's probably just because it comes from them. But um, I don't know how that exactly works, but I know that uh, Knife Kits need to make some money for themselves, I guess. But I'm probably gonna do a video, guys, on where to buy your stuff, like where I buy everything, um, just so you guys can reference it in the future. So next up, Funny that I just got off the phone with Smoke Eater. Smoke Eater 908. He's a funny guy. But um yeah, I just got off the phone with him and this actually is kind of funny because this is this is his knife here. Um this is the Smoke Eater treatment. I've decided to call it these guys have done it about four times since I did his. Uh so some of you guys know what I'm 
probably talking about. So this is the Strider AR, but this one's a bit different. Uh, this backspacer took me longer to do than the damn scales. So <laughs> I, hope, I hope the owner appreciates this. Otherwise you can, you can uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep it. So backspacer first. Got a piece of carbon fiber in the center there. And it's surrounded by moon glow on both sides. So you can see the reflection in the uh, weave there. Glow is nice and bright. And then on this side, you got a carbon fiber I've never used before. It's like a marble, like a large weave. It's pretty crazy, actually. It's like a huge weave compared to what I'm used to. So this would be like your normal small weave that I usually use. This and a little bit bigger than this. This one's like huge, so it kind of gives it like the marble carbon fiber look. Um, and on this side, just you got the smaller weave reptilian pattern. Of course, this was a happy mistake. Uh, I was not aware that the two slabs I had were different. Uh, they were really dirty, so they're part of the destruction test or whatever pieces that I had left over. Not the ones I used. That would be funny. But, uh, you know, some pieces that he gave me I didn't need to use, so I figured I'd use them up. Uh, see, that backspace was really cool. And guys, nothing you do to this knife is going to make it comfortable. I mean, it feels better, but it's just a freaking brick of a knife. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. I like it because it, it's, it, it's a strider and it's really well built, actually. Like, very well built. But um, this one had the uh, tiger stripe, uh, but I sam uh, sandblasted, uh, stone washed it. I also stone washed the pocket clip and sandblasted the screw. That clip is on there like a motherfucker, so. It's really cool. I like it. You can hide this inside of here. There you go. By the way, guys, you're going to see some cool stuff coming. And if you guys, uh, you know, anybody's got something here that, that, uh, you know, has the go nuts written on their note. You're probably going to get some crazy stuff going here. So good timing on that. Sorry, I'm just admiring this weirdness. Not sure how I feel about the top layer having a, having a weave and then the rest of it not. Because I just talked to Smoke Eater about using some lightning strike and now I'm realizing that might not be working. Because this is something else. Not too sure. But anyway, guys, so yeah, I'll put a link to uh, Composite Craft down below. Um, it's, it, you know, it might, even, some of you might be like, oh, that's boring, I don't want to go on the site, but um, yeah, it's CompositeCraftInc.com. But this site's actually cool as hell because they got some samples of their work, some really, really wacky designs they did with, I guess, some, some mills or a CNC or something like that. But they made a few carbon fiber knives that look crazy as hell. Um, but I, I got all sorts of ideas for like an inlay like this. It's basically like translucent. You know, you're surrounded by regular, you know, this inside, like it's the middle, it's the middle of a scale, just like a window into the, like the workings with like some crazy stuff around it. Um, there's gonna be a lot of this stuff in my on my uh, on my shelves coming soon. So it's just uh, new material and it's just a whole bunch of it all at once. So I'm pretty damn excited about it, guys. But anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, yeah, have a good one. Peace.